Good morning, Great Love. Good morning. We're glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. He brought us through another week. And we're going to give him the praise for all that he's done for us. Amen. This morning is Youth Sunday, and the youth will be running the service this morning. Amen. And at this time, we'll have Sister Sophia come with this little light of mine. Amen. This little light of mine Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. Amen. 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 Amen.
Shield the Lord, 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 we ask for all these people. We want to walk in love, peace, and joy. Yeah. Yeah. We, want to, we want to show joy. We want to show light to others that need it. We want to show, yeah. we want to show joy and light to the ones that, that don't know joy and light. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Send down your son on the cross, Lord. Thank you, Lord. To, Thank pay, you. to pay the price for us, Lord. Yes, he did, child. Yes, he did. He said, no, I don't want to do this, but no, he, he stayed on the cross. Yes, he did. He yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. He took the blood. He took the strength. He took the scars. He took the pain, Lord. And all the pain, Lord. All the love. All the peace that you have given us. All the patience, Lord, you have given us. You spared us mercy that we did not need, Lord. You gave us grace. We thank you for that grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. Let this church service be one of the best service that we have in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 If it wasn't for him, where would we be? Oh, yeah. So I want to sing a song. I love you.
March 26, 2024, 6 p.m. through 7 p.m. The LBC Outreach Pantry will be in operation every Tuesday. The next day will be Tuesday, March 26, 2024, 6 p.m. through 7 p.m. For more information, contact Sis Kimberly Evans. After the store ministries, they will also have Easter candy packages for $1.50 each starting now until Easter. Amen. Special notice. Greater Love Baptist Church will be honoring Pastor Isaac Grant Jr. 25th pastoral anniversary. Amen. This will be a labor of love. 1 Thessalonians 5, 12, 13. Every Wednesday night in the month of April 6, 13, 20, 27, 20, 24, 7 p.m. Amen. Featuring his sons in the ministry. Amen. Bishop Lester Sergers, Pastor, Fontaine Memorial Baptist Church, Elder Michael T. Moore, Pastor, Greater Mount Moriah Primitive right. Baptist Church, Elder Rodney Lee, Pastor Willie's Chapel Primitive Baptist Church, Amen. Reverend Nathan Pleasant, Pastor, Friendship Baptist Church. Amen. The 2024 Pastor and Wife Anniversary Committee is asking all GLBC members to donate $50 toward the Pastor and Wife Anniversary Amen. coming up on the fourth Sunday in April. Amen. This hearing will have a special box for you to put your donation in. Also, make sure to put your donation in an envelope with your name on it so you can get credit for your love offering. Amen. Thanks in advance, Sis Sharon Herring, Chairperson. Amen. Effective immediately, I am seeking a van driver. The van driver must be at least 21 years of age, a licensed driver, and be willing to submit to a criminal background check. Amen. If you are interested, please contact me at 512 825 8321 as soon as possible. Upcoming events. March 28, 2024, at 11 through 12 p.m., Greater Love is offering a computer class every Thursday in the fellowship hall. Amen. If you are interested in attending, please bring your laptop or tablet so you can learn on your equipment. This is a beginning class for adults. Right. <coughs> Youth news. The youth department will be having an Easter egg hunt on Woo! Saturday. Woo! Woo! March 30th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. We will have arts and crafts, games, music, Easter egg, and then lunch will be served too. Woo! We are asking our sponsors and our parents to donate sandwich trays, fruit and veggie trays, juice boxes, and of wieners, hot dog buns. 
Also, we will eat boiled and dry eggs and candy eggs for the Easter egg hunt. We also momentarily donations to assist with the purchase of food and candy for the children. Amen. Thanks Amen. for all your support. Blessings to you. The GLBC Golden Harvest Ministry Outreach Pantry will be supporting a garage sale on April 13th. Amen. If you would like to sponsor a booth space for $35, please sign up with Sis Smitty or Sis Kimberly Evans with your donation by April 9th of 2024. Amen. Amen. No, vendors can keep all profits from his or her booth. No walk-ins, please. No food, please. Your booth must be self-sufficient. If you are playing music, please keep in mind this is a family place and a church function. When you leave, please clean up all the grease or any trash that may accumulate during the sale of your merchandise. Please come out and see if there is something you don't like. If not, remember this is to raise money. So if you don't see something you like, you can always donate. Amen. Amen. Matthew 25, verse 35. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. Amen. And Timothy 5, 1 through 2. Do not rebuke an older man harshly, but exhort him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers, two older men uh, women as mothers, and younger women as sisters, with absolute purity. Give proper recognition to those widows who are really in need. Thank you for coming out. Sis Vernell Carter and family mourn the loss of her sister, Sis Lee Vern Williams. Celebration of life service will be held March 30th, 2024, 11 a.m. Greater Union Baptist Church, Rev. Dr. Ricky Williams, pastor. If you would like to be a blessing to the family in a way of drinks, desserts, paper goods, or momentary donations, please contact Sis Carter at 512-228. 2837. Let us keep Sis Carter, Dia, Star Wars, Sis Allen, Sis Bess, Sis Wilson, and their families in our prayers. So, methods of giving. I want to thank each of you for your financial commitment to the church. You can continue to give your tithes and offerings through mail, no cash, please, to Greater Love Baptist Church. 6601 Manor Road, Austin, Texas, 78723. Or Zeal, if your bank name has not set up Zeal, contact your bank or Zeal can help you with the setup. Amen. Select transfer, select yeah. send when prompted, type in GLBC email, enter amount you wish to send, and hit send. Amen. Drop off, or you could do it through drop off to a deacon Sunday morning, between the hours of 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. Amen. And that's it. Amen. 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 Remember, our motto here is everybody is somebody. Not everybody wants to sing in the choir. Not everybody wants to be a nurse, but we're going to let our youth be used here at the church. Amen? Amen. Come on, brother love. Stand to your feet. Let's receive our pastor and their wife as they come. Come on, brother love. Stand to your feet. Let's receive our pastor and their wife as they come. Today, 
is to stay focused. Yes. Yes. Stay focused yes. on the things of God. Yes. So many times there are all discretions everywhere, but we need to stay focused. Yes. And how can you stay focused? By praying, by fasting, yes. by staying in your business. Yes. Yes. Focus on the things of God, and everything will be all right. Thank you, Sister I appreciate her. God keeps me grounded in many ways. I thank God for. Listen, uh, y'all continue. Let's pray for Sister Sanders. Don't ask no questions. Amen. Let's pray. Amen. 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 Now, Curtis Dawlitz, you did a wonderful job. Amen. You did a fantastic job. Amen. Sometimes it's good to see you coming forth and doing that. Yes, sir. So some of us going to be out of the way in a minute. Amen. So thank God for that. Uh, I want to thank God for all of you that have uh, already gave in the past and wife anniversary. I want to thank God for you. Uh, you don't have to do it, but you did it. And so we thank God for you. I speak on behalf of me and my wife and my family. Uh, we thank God for your giving. Uh, we baptize here. A young fellow on Tuesday night. Amen. 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 That, that's kingdom work. Yes, sir. It's under the norm, man. Out of the prison. Oh, you're back. Yeah, we did on Tuesday night. Brother Chris got baptized. And what you will see, something is happening on Tuesday night. Praise God. Something is happening. And uh, God is going to do some great things uh, with that ministry that they're doing, even with Sandra Kendall's ministry on Tuesday night. I'm telling y'all, y'all can't see it, but something is getting ready to happen. Because, see, see, a lot of us want limelight, but them folks in the back working with folks that nobody want to have anything to do with. You better hear me. God is getting ready to send them people. And thank God for the people that he has in place that's already been set up to deal with that. Because everybody can't deal with that. Ain't nobody talking. Everybody can't deal with that that comes through them though. Thank you, Kim. I believe you and all of y'all that work back there on Tuesday night because some of y'all would be too good to even touch them people. Whoa. good and your clothes are too good but they are back there working and guess what I thank God for that particular I thank God for all of the ministries but I thank God for that Tuesday night because I was able to come and, uh, and baptize man that made me feel so good listen right after church you talk to the president or whatever they want to call them a spade for the food food ministry Right after church, she says they have a lot of stuff they need to give away. Amen. Food. Look at your neighbor say, Amen. 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 They're giving away all that stuff that you see back there. Bread, they're giving it away. And let me say this with you. Let me say this with you. You can't be in a body like this. Or any church. If you need it, you need it. Y'all ain't saying that. Because some of y'all gonna miss it because of your pride. And you die. And yeah, come on. If, if I, and listen, if I don't have it and it's back there, I don't care what you say about me. I'm getting ready to go home and do some cooking, some eating, or whatever. You can talk all you want. I need it and it was there. And I'll take advantage of it. Everybody don't need it, but somebody needs it. Thank God for us in that ministry. 
That ain't no easy job. Some of y'all will come down there and volunteer. Sometimes you get off from work, sure would do some good. Uh, she, she's here. So we want to thank God for Ms. Patsy Wilson who did a Amen. tremendous job of this morning talking about conflict resolution. Yeah. Understand, church, we are a family and there's going to be conflicts. Things are going to be saved. Things are going to be whatever. But we come together and we work it out. We don't leave him mad. Because if you leave him mad, the devil will be on your trail. You're going to call Jackie, Jane, and all of them. And before you know it, it's blown out of proportion. But if you come together, it was so good this morning. From Sunday school on up, I just thank the Lord. Because it was good. But see, listen, when you come to church, you, you, you're looking for perfect people. Ain't nobody in there perfect. It's going to be some issues because ain't nobody in there perfect. But what we have to learn is we have to learn how to work those things out instead of going home mad. you mad and upset. Can't nobody say nothing to you because you just mad. But thank God for the conflict resolution. Uh, Listen, Cash App is coming. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, Cash App is coming. <laughs> See, a lot of y'all talk too much. Not for real. A lot of y'all talk too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to pass it? We, we need, well, we upgrading. We coming. Just take it down. It's coming. Just, if you would be quiet and let God work it out and shut your mouth. You better have it. That means if you don't come to church, you can get right on your little phone and chat your tithes into the church. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you ain't, we need to take that to God, but deacons outside beating and all that, you ain't going to do that. Yeah. You, you, you're not. You ain't coming down there to do nothing. You, you have, you don't want to come. So I'm going to open it up the doors. We get ready to get the cash out. Something else we get ready to get. Listen, if we would, I'm telling you, I'm going to say this again. If we would allow God to work things out, yes. Amen. we would be a better church. Yes. Amen. I'm not lying, man. And then you stay out of trouble with God. Yes. You know how you stay out of trouble with God? You do the conflict resolution. Solve it. And then we go home in peace. Yeah. You don't have to be up all night like I used. To. I used to be up all night thinking about stuff that happened at this church. And the Lord said, "You don't do that no more. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. preach the gospel to get on home, but your business you can do what I told you to do, and let me do the rest. Because if I continue to do that, man, man, I'd be gray. Yes, sir. Gray up." Looking old, and then y'all be talking. There's something wrong with it. Hello. <laughs> Girl, did you see? Yes, yes. Another thing I want to tell y'all, listen, and I'm going to get out of the way. I'm gonna get, I just like to have fun. And if you don't like to have fun, this ain't church for you. You can call us crazy. You can call us whatever you want to call us. God has kept us. Come on, praise yeah. God. I said, first thing I 
say it if I'm lying, Curtis, just jump on and say I'm a lying pastor. I just say it. Yeah. If your wife and family is okay, what it do? Yes. Yes. Amen. Y'all heard what I say? Yeah. I said, if his wife and his family yeah. is okay with it, leave the boy alone. Yeah. 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 I said, boy, he ain't going to get mad. Leave the man alone. Let him do. Because it's a ministry. And watch this, y'all. He is actually yes, he is. going to get a growth from that apartment complex over there. Yeah. That's going to be coming to this church. Y'all yeah. ain't saying that. Y'all ain't saying that. He gonna get a growth. I see God doing some things. If y'all are saying I'm telling you, God is doing some things. And God is actually preparing us with the conflict resolution in your day. So this was going to be a next one, but you'll be here for the next one. I want to bring mine this fifth Sunday. I want to continue to talk about that because I went to a workshop with it at Morgan Pastor Jones Church. And it's good to hear. And for all of you that didn't come, that don't come to Sunday school, you don't come to be here. I want to invite you to come. Yes, sir. Because, yes. Some of the people who are here hearing it, they're going to have to hear it over and over again because some people don't get it at home. But what about you that don't never get it? You're going to continue to raise hell till Jesus come back because you ain't going to have no understanding. So you're going to be mad and then some of the ones that are here, you're going to sit in here and still be mad and that's God going to be whooping on you, not me. And so we're so glad. I'm so happy. I'm so um, tickled pink about these children and singing this morning. Y'all, come on. Let's do it. They sung, man. I mean, they, they were giving it everything that they had. And I am so grateful to God. They love if you only do the right thing. That's right. Thank God you do some powerful things in your life. But you got to do it right. So y'all continue to solve the problems. Then you won't have to go to the principal office. I don't know the principal office. You never been in there. You don't want to grow up in there. You know. It can get wild up in there. So y'all let's continue to solve the problems of that. We had a good day. We're going to have some good church. We're going to give God the glory up in this place. Now, I think it's, you know, nobody up in heaven. Now. I think it's tithes and offering time. Did I get it right? I'm going to say it again. It's tithes and offering time. I'm going to say it one more time. It's tithes and offering time. It takes us no more than one minute to raise 50 million dollars.
Don't tell nobody else. But the church said, if y'all sing real, real loud, they may buy y'all some pizza. Okay. Okay. So that means that's okay. All right. Come on, girl. Now put your hands together. Let's receive our, our young people as they come this morning. I, I'm, I'm like Pastor Brent. I'm bad with names. I'm, I'm learning them. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm, I'm working hard. By by the end of next year, I want to know every youth name up here. Amen. So we got Malachi. Amen. We got Trey. We got. Limon, Limon, all right, and then we have uh, Sabaya, there it is, all right, Sabaya, all right. Y'all come on, receive Malachi as he comes.
of God for what he did on that cross. It says, I am grateful. Then they went on to say, I'm grateful. I'm happy. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I appreciate you for everything that God did, everything that Jesus did on the cross. Well, I, know, I know this next one's going to be a little edgy for some of y'all, but we, we come to have church. Amen. Amen. So y'all come on, give me these young people. Amen.
Anybody know that the Lord rose on Sunday morning? I know it's not Easter yet, but anybody know that he rose? How many altos? We got to move real quick, but how many altos we got here? I just want to hear you one more time. One, two, three.
Somebody say, but, uh, somebody tell, please tell Pastor Grant this mic is on. Somebody run. Think it was. Thank you. 
for what you have done in this service. We give you glory for what you're getting ready to do. Teach us, God, in this hour what to say and how to say it. We love you, God. We adore you. We magnify your name. And God, as you take this ministry to the next level, we give you glory in your name. Amen. If you have your Bibles, I've never preached a poem so since I passed it here. I really have. In Luke chapter 19. In Luke chapter 19. I, as I studied this, I was intrigued. I, I just was blessed. Watch this. I was blessed by a donkey. Lord I was just intrigued by this donkey. Lord, this donkey did some things and spoke to us. And, 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 and some of us, I don't want you to miss it because this donkey is very important in him riding in. Yes, this donkey. Luke chapter 19, beginning at verse 28. And I'm going to read some and then, then preach two minutes and we going home. Y'all read. All right. When he had said these things, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. And as he approached Bethphage and Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two disciples and said, Go unto the village ahead of you. As you enter it, you will find a coat tied there, on which no one has ever sat. Right. Untie it and bring it. Yeah, yeah. If anyone asks you why are you untying it, say this, the Lord needs it. Yeah, yeah. So those who were sent left and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the coat, its owner said to them, why are you untying the coat? The Lord needs it, they said. Then they brought it to Jesus, and after throwing their clothes on the coat, they helped Jesus get on it. As he was going along, they were spreading their clothes on the road. Now he came near the path down the Mount of Olives, and a huge crowd of disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the miracles they had seen. Amen. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees from the crowd told him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. Watch what he said. He answered, I tell you, if they were to keep silence, the stone would cry out. I want to talk to you for a few minutes and for real. What's all of this shouting about? What's all, what's all of this shouting about? What's all of this shouting? What's all of this he got out? What? What's all of this about? Help me, Lord Jesus. I, I, I feel God right in my bones. What is all this shouting about? Can, can I tell you? Can I tell you? Before I get into the text, can I tell you? The shouting is about Jesus making a way out of nowhere. The shouting about if I was in the hospital last week, he healed my body this week. Come on, talk back to me.
get back up again. Do I have a witness of anybody in here? You just was in trouble, but the Lord brought you out. That God brought you out. You ought to say hallelujah. If your children was giving you hell, and you decided to shut your mouth and go deeply in prayer, and you watch God work it out, and when God work it out, you ought to say hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Some of you didn't have place to stay, but God made a way out of nowhere. Somebody couldn't pay the bill, but God made a way out of nowhere. That's what the shouting is all about. about who Jesus is. Yeah, anybody in here know him? Yeah. Come on, can I be like the old preacher this morning? Anybody in here know him? Yeah. Anybody know him that in the pardon of your sin? And if you don't know him, I just wanted to tell you something. I shout early this morning because of how he works. Yeah. Oh my God. I shout because how he works. Yes, yes. He took a crack at it. Somebody who didn't have enough sense to know that he was killing himself. He took that crack at it. <laughs> Where people talked about that crack at it. They said that crack addict won't be nothing but a crack addict. But I come to tell you this morning, it's not what they say, it's all about what he said. So come on, talk back to me again. He, he said, he said, crack addict? And I said, yes, sir. You coming out of this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you gonna preach the gospel? Yes, sir. And I'm going to put a church in your hand. I'm talking about Jesus now. Come on, talk back to me if you can. And the crack addict I'm talking about was Isaac Grant Jr. I don't hear nobody talking. God took a crack addict, bought him out, and gave him a church. That's enough for me to dance, 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 dance all night. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Because somebody said, Somebody said, you'll never be anything. You'll never mount to anything, bro. You just ain't going to mount to anything. But here it is. God turned it around. Look at your neighbor and say, God did it for Isaac. He'll do it for you, too. Come on, tell your neighbor. He'll do it for you, too. Come on, has God done it for you, too? Has he turned your situation and your life around? He works. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the text first. You got to know that God can take a nobody and make them out of somebody. Can I get a witness here? I said God can take a nobody and make them out of somebody. Somebody ought to say thank you right there. Because we all were nobody, but God turned it around for all of us. And now we can sit and chat and say hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yes, yes, God. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. What's the text, y'all? What's the text? In verse 28. 28. What's what, what's what happened? Okay, so I'm share with you know what I'm and he had said these things. He said he went ahead. He was going to Jerusalem. And as he approached Bethlehem and Bethany at the place called Mount Olive, watch me now. He sent two disciples. Come on now, come on. Two. Two. And these two disciples were never named in the gospel account. Amen. Uh, watch me now. I want to say this. They, they were never named 
in the gospel account. Eh? He, he didn't call their name. Thank you, Jesus. So if you would serve the Lord, you must be willing to serve without attention. You got to be able and willing to serve the Lord without attention. You got to be willing to serve the Lord. And if I don't call your name, guess what? He knows your name. Oh God, I feel Jesus right there. If I get in this pulpit and I don't call your name, you got to know that he knows your name. And understand this. After all, it is the Lord who is to be noticed and honored. Well, I got to say it. It's the Lord who is to be noticed and honored. It got nothing to do with you in the show. Y'all ain't talking back to me. Y'all ain't talking back to me. It's got to be God that's the one that's going to be honored and he got to be noticed. How can he be honored and noticed through your life if you live something for God? Come on, somebody going to honor you and somebody going to notice your walk for the Lord. Come on, two men. I want you to see that. Two men. He, he ain't said he ain't said me. He ain't called no name. And sometimes if I get up here and don't call your name, some people will leave the church if you don't call their name. You mean I did that? He ain't said nothing about me. The Lord didn't want me to say anything about you. But if you be still, I don't have to say nothing about you. Somebody else will come whisper in your ear and tell you you got a good job. You just can't be up front. Up front ain't for everybody. Some people can't handle being up front. You think it's easy sitting in the seat. You, you think it's easy. Pastor oh, Grant. That seat right there, it ain't what you think. It's pretty. It's blue. Come on, Pastor. But it's a whole lot coming with it in that seat. You better hit me this morning. A whole lot coming with sitting in that seat. You got to be in meetings. You got to deal with how many attitudes in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> you got to deal with all of that. Yeah. And when it comes, you got to be smooth enough to deal with it. Right. Meaning you got to have enough Holy Ghost in you yes. to deal with it. Because yes. that didn't have a stop out of But watch verse 30. Watch verse 30. Watch verse 30. I'm going to walk this out. Watch verse 30. Now he says, he said, and sin unto the village ahead of you, he told me. As you enter it, you're going to find a coat tied there. Watch this now. On which no one has ever set. My Lord. Oh, come, come. That's right. No one. He says, untie it and bring it. Watch this. The disciples were instructed yes. by the Savior. They were instructed to what to do. They were instructed to where to go. And then they were instructed when to do it. The command was for immediate action. And where to do it? Christ commands for his servants to tell them what to do, when to do it, and where to do it. Yes, sir. When Christ commands you and tell you these things, you got to know if you be obedient to what he says, he's already paved the way. Yeah. I'm showing you the text. He's already paved the way. And so, if he's already paved the way, why am I crying about so many things? He's already, he, he done told them he told them disciples, and they did exactly what he told them. You know what they were acting in? They were acting in obedience to the commandment of God. Can I ask a question right here? Y'all be honest. How many of y'all 
act in obedience to the commandment of God. But Sister Wilson said, the conflict thing, and this conflict is inevitable in the church. And a lot of y'all don't know that. You're going to have conflict. But it's how you handle the conflict that comes. You see, you see, when conflict comes in the church, unsaved people come in and they think we all perfect. So when the conflict happens, watch this, they'll leave church and they'll talk about it. Y'all ain't saying that. They'll talk, oh Lord, I'm going up there, them people, them people. Well, let me tell you something about them people. Them people saved, and if they die, they on their way to heaven. Y'all ain't talking back to me because conflict is but you got to know how to handle it. And if I've taught you anything, you got to know. You quote the scripture, the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. You got to know that he does come to kill, steal, and destroy. And if you get in a conflict and you don't resolve the conflict, he let kill both of you. Girl, I know I'm the one. I told that so and so. No, you die. Wilson had today. Yeah. Yeah. Two people all in, one people had some sense to come in and calm it down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But in the church, two people get the all in, you know what we do, we go in offices and open up the, God, <laughs> God, you better come out here and hey, oh Lord, they, and you bringing all the crowd in there, and people are looking, and you're dancing over that, and ain't nobody praying, and ain't nobody trying to step in to solve the problem. So you got to fight. Mm -hmm. So watch this now. He, he told us something. I want you to see. He said, loose him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want you to bring that coat to me. Can, can I tell you? <laughs> In the text, both loosing and leading are involved. And watch this. You better get it. You got to be loose before you can lead. Uh, y'all ain't saying nothing. Cold times, you you got to be loose before you can lead. You you can't you can't lead if you're not loose. Some of you trying to lead, but you're so tied up, tied up in emotion, tied up in the what's happening in your atmosphere. You tied up. If you tied up, you cannot lead. You got to be untied. What I'm tied. Unconditionally. Yes, Untied looks like I'm not looking at it like you look at it because I know that old devil gonna get the glory, but I refuse to let the devil get the glory. Yes. And the devil will get the glory out of the life of the church if we don't understand that you can't leave unless you've been loose. Yes, and so what we do, yes, sir. you put a lot of loose. Loose people in position. Uh -huh. oh. 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 Well, you already know they can't do it. Yeah. But because you love them, you just put them in there. Yeah. And then when the hell break loose, 512 Something happened. You want to know what happened? You put somebody loose in the position. If you have not been loose, you cannot lead. If you cannot love people unconditionally, this is not the part for you. You got to go through some things, my brothers and sisters. You got to learn how to lead. Every leader is not perfect. We all make mistakes. Come on, look at your neighbor. You can say it with me. Pastor Grant is not perfect. You and you, don't say it behind my back. Say it while I'm asking you to say it. Pastor Grant is not perfect. Don't wait till you leave track and say it. Y'all telling you you can say it to my face. Because I recognize and know that I got some flaws. Watch this now. 
when he came in. I got some text. When he was triumphing it in. Because yeah. the text talked about he was coming in. And he came in. But he knew who he was. Mm -hmm. I want to ask the question today. Do you know who you are? Yes, oh, Lord Jesus. Uh, I'm going somewhere. He knew who he was. If you don't know who you are, anything that happened in the church that hurt you, you're going to leave greater love and you're going to go down the street and you're going to say they hurt me and give you two weeks. You're going to leave there and you're going somewhere else because you're going to say they hurt me and what you don't understand is you're dealing with people. Yes. they still saved but they're not perfect. they still saved but some people come to church and they are not saved. Yeah. And so you're preaching the gospel so they can come to Christ. Right. Now watch me now. Watch me now. You, you. Watch me now. God came in on a donkey. Yes, he did. Well, I'm preach this like I feel. Yeah. He came in on a, a donkey. Yes, he did. Yes. Watch this now. The Bible says he sat on the donkey. The donkey was not tame. Nobody has ever sat on the donkey. The donkey is not tame. And so he tells them, go untie him and then bring him here because I'm going to sit on the donkey. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? When God sits on you, there's a change in your life. When God sits on you, there's a change in your life. Because nobody ever sat on the donkey. Can you imagine somebody strained sitting on that donkey? That donkey would have been the bucking and going on. But when God sat on the donkey, ain't nobody talking back to me. It was a miracle that took place because he sat on the donkey. And when God sits on you, there'll be a change in your life. You can't tell this because some come to church with no evidence that God is on you. Come, come on, come on. I said you come to church with no evidence that God is on you because if you can raise hell right in the sanctuary, God is not sitting on you. God ain't talking back to me. Come on. When you can sit up in here and doubt one another, God is not sitting on you. You need to go get a heart transplant. Yeah. You see, the early church watch me, knew that God was sitting on them. Because the early church took 12 people and turned the world upside down. And they turned the world upside down. And we got churches all over America. Y'all ain't talking back to me. The reason why, listen, my God, the laborers are few out there. Nobody want to go out and labor in the vineyard. All we want to do is get a pulpit spoke, and then we want to be a, a star. God is not looking for no more newbie stars, movie stars. He's looking for some clean. Say he sure can use me. If God can use a donkey, he sure can use me. What's the donkey? What's the donkey? While some of y'all crying, talking about church don't use me, I don't da 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 da. This donkey was tied up. Minding his own business. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Nobody saw the donkey, anybody in and out. The donkey's still there. The donkey's looking prominent. <laughs> Nobody paid no attention to the donkey. Yes. But what you got to understand is even though you up there and you ain't in the spotlight yet, God is looking at you. Yes. Come on, somebody. You got to think nobody looked at the donkey. Nobody paid attention to the donkey. No, the donkey could teach us some things. The donkey was just tied up. Nobody paid attention to him. But God paid attention. And God was saying, I will I listen. I can use this donkey. And if God can use that donkey, God can use any one of you. Look at your name and say, I can be used by God. Watch me, I'm going somewhere. We're going to shout our way right along. Let's see, Reverend. Watch me, Reverend. Watch, 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 watch me, Reverend. He, 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 he used that donkey. He, he said, oh, God, and have mercy. Yes, sir. Uh, because, see, some of you don't think that Moses had a stumbling block. Yes, uh, 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 but God used Moses. Yes, sir. Somebody wife killed and David did all of that yeah, wrong to yeah. But God used David. Can I get a witness here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to understand that when people come to church, they come to church with all their issues and all their problems. But don't think that God can't use them. Can I get a witness here? God can use who he wants to use, when he wants to use it, and how he wants to use them. You can't stop it and I can't stop it. You're the shit there. Huh? I'm the shit. Why are you fooling with me? I'm going somewhere and I'm getting out of here. Why? Why God? And I suppose this donkey, after God said on that donkey, that donkey just got tamed. <laughs> Ain't bucking. Ain't bucket. I'm going to say that again. The, the donkey's not bucket. He's not trying to flip Jesus on the bucket. He's, he's just right. And a lot of y'all come. On. Can I can I preach it how I feel it? A lot of y'all come to church and you bucking right now in your spirit. Ain't nobody talking. You bucking right now in your spirit. Y'all ain't saying that because you ain't thinking about what I'm saying. You got your phone out and you acting like you on my own God. But you on Facebook and you on Twitter. That's why you always come in here with a butt on your shoulder. Bucket. Miracles 
they had seen. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of peace and Lord. And watch this. And glory, and peace in heaven, and glory in the highest heaven. But some of the Pharisees, look at your neighbor and say, All the Pharisees ain't dead. Some Pharisees living right here. There's some Pharisees in great love. I got to tell you. There's some Pharisees set up everywhere. Yeah. I, 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 I don't want to deal with them spirits yet, but I'm going to get there. But watch this now. Watch this now. They were quoting from Psalms 118. The people openly acknowledged Jesus as the Messiah and received their praise. But this was too much for the Pharisees. They, they, no, no, you, you can't give him that much praise. What are you doing? You y'all need to shut this dude, shut his mouth because you shut your mouth because y'all are giving him too much praise. Do you understand what just took place a few minutes ago when this choir right y'all ain't gonna talk back to me when they kept singing and the spirit of the Lord kept moving. Some of y'all, I I got mine. I'm discerning so much. Sometimes it's scaring me. Some of y'all were cringing in the spirit. I won't tell the truth. You were cringing. Oh God, they didn't even stop that song. Why are they, why they going on? Why are they going on? And then when Man Drell get up here in the cell, and let me respect that. When he gets up here and he he tried, they they going on, they going on. Then when I get the mic, I, he got up and everybody giving God the glory. Some of y'all sat down because you mad. You just like the Pharisees, you mad at them. I said, why are they why are they praising him like that? Why are they doing all of that? You mad? Why are you mad? Because you can't give you can't give him praise, but you refuse to give him praise. But every now and then, you ought to give God some glory for the good things that He has done. Watch this. Watch this stuff. Yes, they, they demand that Jesus rebuke His disciples. It was their way of saying. Surely you don't believe yourself, do you? Stop them. You can't believe all of this. They, they talk about all this miracle that you have done. And you got these people hollering for me. I'm going somewhere. Terrence, help me. Rosalind, y'all help me. Because I'm getting ready to get out of here. Watch me now. They said... Stop them from doing it. Stop them from giving them glory. Don't you? Can you stop them? But, but look what he said. He answered. Teacher. Watch this. He answered. I tell you. If you were to keep silence. Don't cry out for me. Somebody ever look at their name and say, I don't want no rock. I don't want no rock crying out for me. Come on, look at your name and say, I don't want no rock. I don't want no rock crying out for me. He's been too good to me. He's made too many ways out of nowhere for me. I mean, he has paid my car no.
simple. He got up. Thank you.
Just tell them, Greater Love is a church where everybody is somebody. Look at somebody else that you didn't look at. Just say, Greater Love is a church where everybody is somebody. Now look at the same person and say, God has use for you. That, that's the message for today. God has use for you. I don't know who that word is for in here, but there's somebody in here, they just happened to stumble in here this morning, and God is saying, I have use for you here in Greater Love. You no longer have to be tied down with whatever it is you've been going through. God has set you free today, and I have use for you. So come on, as we extend this invitation, we're not going to be long. We done said heroes. We done shouted. We done danced. You already know if God done touched your heart. So if you're here, you ought to come. Real quick. I will come quickly. The Bible says that the, the disciples, they went and they got the donkey. And when the owner came, the owner said, what are you doing? 
And the disciples just simply said, they didn't even go to a long explanation. They just said, God has use for this donkey. God has use for you today. You ought to come and see young people saying one stanza or something, whatever they got prepared. You ought to come. I wouldn't allow this time to pass you by. If you are here, you ought to come. You said, I've been looking for a church. I, 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 I've been in search for a church just like this, where everybody is somebody. We're not going to judge your past. We're not worried about what you've been through. We're not worried about what you're going through. This is a church where you can be able to fit in and be used by God. Amen. You said, well, well, I ain't really ready to join yet, but I need somebody to pray with me. Well, guess what? We're willing to pray with you right now. If you're here, you ought to come.
It is ours to offer the joy to accept and reject. That the charge is our duty to let us hear from our clerk at this time. Good afternoon. We have Sister Carla requesting prayer. Thank you. Amen. 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 Let me get a hug from you for you. Thank you, God. You're hurting. They're going to they stay. They're going to stop that pain. Yes, stop it. Hey, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Have we not had a good time in service on today? Come on, I said, have we not had a good time in service on today? Y'all do me a favor one more time. Y'all get up for these young people over here. I tell you what, I don't know about y'all. I look forward to four Sundays because they seem to always impress. I love all of y'all. What y'all doing? These, these my babies right here. I love them all. Y'all come on. And then we're going home, but I want to show y'all something because if you don't believe Austin has a shortage of musicians, it's by the love of God that my brother drives from Waco every Sunday to meet with us. Amen. But, but look, what, look what God is doing. Daryl there, said something. He said, man, I, I'm starting to get a little, little old and winded now, but, but man, what's your name, man? Josiah, man. Y'all come on. Y'all give up, man. We broke him in real good Saturday, yesterday. We, if you, yeah, I'm directing, you gotta hit it. You gotta, I need it when I need it. And y'all give David back there, man. David been playing the ground. And then we, we, we can't forget our faithful one right here, Jake, man, y'all come on. We, we told Jake this gonna be the year he gonna, he gonna progress. We gonna get him off of that snare. We gonna get him on that big drum set. Even if he just started playing the offering or something, we go, come on, we all gotta learn something. Yeah. See, I, I read, and we going home, but I read something on Facebook and it was so true, is that we always want the seasoned musicians but can't afford them. But then the young ones that's growing up, we don't want to utilize them, amen? I, I didn't start off just being the greatest, amen? It took time, but, but the church loved on me. T didn't start out being the greatest. Rosalind didn't start out. We all had to start from somewhere, amen? And so we just have to, we have to encourage our youth through the growth process, amen? Amen. Hey, to my new friends back here in the back, y'all done stayed the whole circle. I don't know who y'all are, but y'all my new friends. Who, hey, you, you, look, they looking like, who you talking? Right here in the black, the, the, the white shirt, the black, right here got the family, they got the, stand away your hand, who you my new, come on friends. you want to go to. I got you. We're going to drink water together. Amen. That's how I love Whatever water you want to drink. Come on. We stand there. We going home. Amen. Let us not forget there is there is some food in the back. Amen. There's some food. Uh, Sister Faith don't want us to don't want none of that stuff left over. I'm going to ask Deacon Wilson if y'all can hold three cases of chips then we need them next week for the for the Easter egg hunt. So if you put three cases of chips inside so we get some nachos next week. Amen. 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 Let the church say. Come on, David. Everybody say. Everybody say. Everybody say.
Choir. Men, Sanctuary Choir children, Thursday, 7 o'clock, combined choir rehearsal.